Hello everyone, this is Sue Broom and I'm here to do the weekly angel card reading for the week of May 17 through 23 of 2021. And today, the Desert Speaks card came out quite easily. I like that when it happens. So I pull one card from the Desert Speaks and then I pull, and this one came out really easy also. That means that the energies are moving really fast. So let's see, as I continue to shuffle, <laughs> pulling two more cards from the Angels Are Everywhere, you can see my phone chime was going off, the chime chimes are going off, the magical chimes. So hold the intention right along with me. I've been calling in the angels and calling in the guides and calling in loved ones that are on the other side because today I have a feeling there's going to be um, some messages that may come through. So, and of course, clearing our energy, keeping, there's a second one, keeping our energies clear, keeping our vibrations high. These are all things that help us with clear messages as we go about our day or as I'm shuffling and pulling cards. These are all things. And now with the energy shifting so fast, it's even more important to keep our energies, our vibration our, and our energies high. And there is the third card. So I'm going to hold these. And I'm going to continue to hold the intention right along with you that these are the perfect cards speaking to everyone, no matter when you're hearing or seeing this. So let's see what this week's cards reveals. All right, so let's see what this week has in store for us. So the Desert Speaks card, and again, this is for the week of May 17 of 2021. The Desert Speaks card is courage. So this is a coyote, and he doesn't look like he's afraid of much. <laughs> He really wasn't. But, you know, the, I, I feel like the color, I feel like the color red is really kind of pulling, pulling me in this time. And I know that the color red is always there, but it's not always the color that I am drawn to in this card. And he is standing on all fours, very stationary. So very stable. So pay attention to that as your week goes on. And also, because it's, it says courage on there, it's like, you know, sometimes we want to feel a little bit more centered and stable be before courage comes. And sometimes courage needs to come first because it may be the courage that's going to help us get stable. Sometimes we need to be stable before we take that courageous step forward. But it can be both. It can be both. We have the mirror image here, so pay attention. It's going to be one of those weeks that courage, just look at it this way. Walking with courage every step. Sometimes you might feel a little off kilter. Sometimes you're going to feel really centered. So it's going to be an interesting week. Let's see what the first angel card is. Feel our presence. And of course, what does that have to do with the courageous part? It means call on the angels, especially the times that you feel like you do need a little bit more courage. Call on the angels to stand with you, to walk with you, to speak with you, to be with you, to spend time with you. Call on them and then allow yourself to feel feel their presence. Now, this also could be for loved ones on the other side because they are always with us as well. And again, calling on them. Invite them into our day. Perfect, perfect. Second angel card is you are love. How perfect is that? You are love. And this is this is in everything you do. Breathing in that love, 
feeling the love that you are in, yes, in everything you do. When you are making something on the stove, when you are going for a walk, when you are driving down the street, when you are writing out your bills, when you are putting a stamp on the envelope to mail the bills, if you still do that, come from a place of love because that's who you are at your true essence. And when you feel the love, it increases the courage. When you feel the help from the divine, from spirit, from angels, from loved ones who are supporting us on the other side, it builds and helps with your courage. But love is such an important piece. And the third angel card is breathe in the love. Breathe in love. Wow. See, see how well the angel cards all go together. Feel the presence. And you know, when you feel the presence, it's almost, it's like you can't not feel the love. You can't not be in love when you feel the presence. The best way one of the best ways that I know to actually just stop everything and, and feel is stop everything and allow yourself to take a couple of deep breaths and feel the love, feel the presence, call in the angels, call in your guides. And that's when the courage steps up. That's when the courage increases. When you know you have the support of the divine, of your angels, of yourself. So it's going to be an awesome week, everyone. I can't wait to see it unfold. So thank you so much for joining me. Thank you so much for joining me this week. And if you'd like to find out more about me, you can go to my website, suebroom.com. I do readings, healing work, as well as I do have products for sale on my website. And please do share and like this video. Angel blessings to you. Have a magical week.